Oh, uh, hey, Stewie. You know, that's a fancy clipboard you got there. Oh, hey, brother, isn't it? I'm using it to make the most important list of my entire life. Ooh. Well, uh, good thing you decided to use a fancy clipboard for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Here's the thing, brother. I just learned that I need to live my life like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that means making what's important to him important to me as well. Uh, so I'm reading a bunch of Bible stories right now, and I'm trying to figure out what is what was important to Jesus. Yep. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spread yep. God's love. Mm -hmm. Louis, do you know one. that God loves you? Uh, yes, actually, I do. Oh, come here, brother. Come here. Oh, are you mm -hmm. hugging me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, oh. good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All done. Okay, that, that, that was easier than I thought. Okay, what's next? Uh, cure a blind man. Hmm. Well, I could, but uh. Why is that on your list? Oh well, well, because it's what Jesus did, of course, and I want to be just like him. But, but you can't just. Mm. Mm hmm. Actually, I know just what you can do next. You can wash feet. Uh, what? Why would I do that? Oh, because Jesus did. Here, you can start with mine. Just a warning: they do not smell good. What? 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 No, no, I do not want to do that. Gross. Ah, I'm just messing with you, Stewie. Uh, but I do think you are going about this the wrong way. Oh, what? what? Th then what's the right way? Well, you see, uh, what you're doing is trying to be exactly like Jesus, which isn't completely bad, but you have to remember that you won't be able to cure blindness or help someone walk again. Only Jesus can do that. Still, there are some other things that you can do if you want to be more like Jesus, and it starts with caring about the things that Jesus cared about. Okay... How? Jesus had priorities while he lived here on Earth. So, as followers of Jesus, we should make his priorities our priorities. We might not be able to cure a sickness, but if we know someone who is sick, we can bring them soup and a good well soon card. We can't perform miracles as Jesus did, but we can show others what great things Jesus has done in our lives. Hmm. Um. You might be right, brother. I still think that fixing someone's eyesight would be even cooler, though. Or walking out water, or... Uh, how, how about until you find out how to do those things, you do the things I had on my list. All right, all right. But since it's my clipboard, I'm going to call it my list, too. And my list is to be like Jesus. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, but just make sure that you really get the idea. Let's go listen to a Bible story about uh, making Jesus' priorities. My priorities, yeah. Hey kids, I'm Kyle. Today we're talking about priorities. What does that mean, priorities? Tell somebody next to you what you think priorities means. When we talk about our priorities, we're talking about where we focus our time and our energy. The thing we make our highest priority, number one, is the thing that we put most of our time and our energy into. So I have a list right here of my priorities. They're not in order yet, and I need your help to put them in order. These are all the things that are important to me, and I feel like I need to put my time and my effort into them. I'm gonna put them in order of how I spend most of my time right now. All right, let's see. Uh, this one up here? Okay, let's take that one and put it down there. And oh, what do you think? Oh, oh, this one down here, let's, let's put it right there. And this one in the middle? All right, let's take this one and put it up there. Hmm, I definitely spend most of my time playing on my phone. That's definitely my highest priority. 
I've also got video games up there. Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe I don't have my priorities right. And I know that we're learning about our, our priorities today because we're learning I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. All right, everybody out there watching, say that with me. I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. So when you look at my list here, do you think my priorities are like Jesus' priorities? Let's read our Bible story. Maybe that's going to help us out. And we can read our Bible story in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. That's in the New Testament of the Bible. Let's read. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. Looking at what the two sisters were doing, who do you think was focusing on Jesus' priorities? Martha, who was cleaning the house, or Mary, who was sitting at Jesus' feet and listening to him? Let's keep reading to see how Jesus responded to Martha. But the Lord said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. Whoa! Mary was the one whose priorities were like Jesus's. Why do you think Martha was so busy cleaning the house and not focusing on Jesus? Hmm, that's kind of like spending all my time on my phone. I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. All right, say that with me. I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. So how do we choose to make Jesus' priorities our priorities? We have to give Jesus our full attention. So when I look at my list here, I could change things around. I could put more of my time focused on doing things that Jesus makes a priority. I could serve at my church. I could make sure to spend time reading my Bible every day. I could make sure to spend time talking to God through prayer every day. I could spend time with my friends and help them and show them God's love through my words and my actions. Then I can start to see that that playing on my phone, my video games, and other things that maybe aren't Jesus' priorities have less time. But that's okay because I still have time for them. They're fun, but I get to focus on showing Jesus' love and building friendship with Him. That will make an impact. I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. All right, say that with me, everyone. I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities. And to start making Jesus' priorities our priorities, we have to have a friendship with Him. And maybe you want to start your friendship with Him today. You can do that right now with me. Just pray with me and ask Him into your heart. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. And we want to make your priorities our priorities. And we know how hard that can be, Lord, but please help us. And Lord, if there's anybody out there that wants to start their friendship with you for the first time, Lord, please come into their hearts, change them. Be the leader of their lives so that they can make your priorities their priorities. Amen. If you made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, tell a leader or tell somebody around you. And this week, make Jesus' priorities your priorities by looking at where you spend a lot of your time. Make good choices and spend time with Jesus. Hey, I'm Christy. God's priorities should be our priorities. When you start to feel like you're not making Jesus first, take some time to stop and pray. Ask God to help you put His priorities first. Let's memorize our Bible verse for this series. It tells us that we should work hard to be more like Jesus every day. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. 2 Timothy 4, 5. We have to look at our lives and make sure that Jesus is our number one priority. Remember, I choose to make Jesus' priorities my priorities.